How's everybody doing? My name is Mike, and we got we got four different dogs with us today. We got my dog Roots. We got Mr. Oreo. We have Mr. Aspen and Mr. Clarence. All right. So this video is about how I get questions all the time on how do you feed uh, this many dogs or dogs you're training uh, dogs that have behavioral issues. How do you feed them all without without any issues? It's very common for uh, dogs uh, to get. Uh, you know, territorial about their food. They get possessive uh, about the food, and this is how we do it. This is how we do it in my house. I believe this is the safest way to do it, especially when I'm bringing dogs into my home. And uh, sometimes owners, uh, you know, that they forget to tell me things. So you know, you never want to find out. You know, the dog has food issues. Uh, you know, it's possessive about the food by them biting. So this is the safest way we can do it. We want to prevent things. A leader prevents things things from ever happening so I set this up in a way that is good for them all to eat safely and they actually get to be around other dogs so they get to learn how to be around other dogs and eat within a fairly close uh, proximity to each other so this is how I always suggest to do it and I can still monitor as you can see this dog he just he just stopped as I turn the camera on he's like kind of investigating that dog's food I can tell him to kind of knock that off and this, uh, like I said, this gives them, uh, they're socializing with each other, eating together, you know, uh, when they do this. They're not, you know, they're not, even though they're in a crate and they cannot physically touch each other, they are still uh, doing this activity together. They're eating as a pack. And what I actually do is, and say if I have a dog that's having trouble eating, that's not going after his food uh, the way I like him to, because they get the food about 15, 20 minutes, and I pick it, I pick it back up, and then that's it. Uh, until tomorrow. So this actually uh, gives them an opportunity to eat because they're hearing all that noise from the other dog eating it makes them uh, in turn hungry. So again, this is the way I suggest doing it. If you have dogs that are fighting in the home, uh, the best way to do it is to have them in separate crates and then you can manage them safely and feed them safely and they do not have to uh, you know, guard their food or anything like that. So yeah, the best way uh, to feed a pack of dogs is absolutely uh, by, using, um, by using a crate and uh, individually giving them their food. What I do is I go look at the dogs and whichever dog is the calmest is the one that gets fed first. So the most calm dog that's not barking, moving around, dancing around, sitting, waiting for me, that's the one that, that gets fed first. And hopefully they learn from that and they see, okay, well, being excited is not getting me my food any faster. If you've seen any of my other videos with food, I always make the dog sit and wait for the food. You never want to feed them when they're just excited, uh, you know, jumping around. So this is the, uh, the best way to feed dogs. So you see this one right here? Hey, I just did that. I just tapped her crate because she's staring at my dog's food. She's got her, like, uh, face pressed up against the crate looking at him. So it's better for me to take care of that so he doesn't have to tell her or tell him in his own way uh, that he doesn't want him, you know, looking at, staring at him when he's eating. The way that's going to look, it's going to be a lot of noise and growling. Uh, but if I take care of the issue, which I did, if I, if I take care of that issue, then my dog, my dog gets to continue eating and doesn't have to worry about the other dog messing with him, you know. I, I just take care of that right off the bat for him. So this is the best way to feed him. Mm-mm. <clears throat> 